What's going on guys? I'm here with the video on completing Kate Bishop's iconic mission chain, which is called the Great Kate Bishop. This mission chain is pretty simple and only requires the first step. As you know, the other characters had multiple steps involved with it, so this should be simple to complete. Getting right into it, we see the first one is to defeat enemies while Quantum Overdrive is active. Second, damage enemies with teleport attacks. Third, earn shield faction XP by completing shield assignments. Fourth, complete the taking aim operation chain. And fifth, complete the K Bishop training chain. As you go through the taking aim operation, like the first few missions or so, you'll eventually unlock K Bishop. After that, you'll also unlock her training chain, which essentially is part of her harm training room like the rest of the characters. This should be located in the Helicarrier region. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you guys are the locations and where you can pick up these shield faction assignments, and one of them is going to be in the shield substation zero outpost, which is in the Pacific Northwest region. Complete about four or five of them so you get that thousand XP worth that is required for this challenge. Another location you can go to is in the Helicarrier Outpost. Here's what we need. Think you can handle it? And the last one you can go to is the Antel Outpost, which is located in the Utah Badlands region. Going back to the first objective that was stated, and that was to defeat 25 enemies while Quantum Overdrive is active, you can go over to your skill tree and take a look at your ultimate heroic ability. That is Quantum Overdrive, and essentially this makes your intrinsic ability overcharge itself so you can get that challenge knocked out. The next one we're going to take a look at is to deal the 10,000 damage to enemies with teleporting attacks. So once again on your skill tree, head over to your primary tab. All the way to the right side of intrinsic ability, you can see moves such as Quantum Blitz and Quantum Strike, which allows you to input your melee buttons while holding the RT or R2 button. Of course, you're going to be earning skill points as you level up K Bishop, so be sure to spend them on moves such as that. Another alternative for completing this is to use your Assault Heroic ability, which is Warp Arrow, since this also counts as a teleporting attack. In this footage, you can see me using the Quantum Blitz and Quantum Strike attack to get this challenge knocked out. Also, you can notice this mission is from the Taking Aim operation, so yes, you can do it while completing K Bishop's story arc. Another thing to note is as you're doing this, you can see on the left side of your screen, you will see the damage dealt you're doing and how close you are to finishing it. This next footage here is defeating enemies while Quantum Overdrive is active. So as you see, as soon as you activate it, your intrinsic meter will be overcharged and you can get your kills with it. So as you're doing this, you see the same thing again, left hand side, you'll see how many enemies you defeated in your overcharged state. Now, you can do this without activating your ultimate ability. As long as you overcharge your intrinsic meter while beating enemies up, you can still complete the challenge without activating it. So that's something to also take note of. Once you get done completing all those objectives, you will be done with her iconic mission chain. Now, as you see, you will be rewarded with your exotic major artifact since you've completed her story arc and you'll earn her Leica epic outfit. That's pretty much going to cover it for today's video. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys enjoyed the DLC or not. And as always, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe. See you on the next one.